Hello guys, so welcome back to Sea Fashion Academy. Today I will be teaching us how to make a short pencil skirt. So I want you guys to make sure you watch this to the end. Make sure you watch the end so as to catch up with all the information I'll be giving out here. Make sure you subscribe and click the like button. So today's topic is how to cut and sew a pencil skirt. And we have already our measurement which I've already mentioned, which is the round is 28, the hip line is 7 inches, the round hip is 36, and the skate length is 15. So the first thing we do while cutting anything, not just a pencil skate, is to actually fold our fabric. So we fold with the higher circumference and the length of what we are actually cutting. That is the highest circumference in this case is 36. That is the round hip. So the round hip which is 36, you divide by 4 as usual, which normally gives us 9 inches. Okay, so that 9 inches, as a beginner, I always want you to add extra 5 inches to it. Now this five, 9 plus 5 gives you what? 14 inches. Now this 14 inches is just, like I, like I told you, is the higher circumference, you divide by what? 4. Oh. So when you divide by 4, you add extra 5 inches to it. This 5 inches is for both the body allowance and for the, body, the zipper allowance. Do you understand? So 9 plus 5 is what? 14. So that means we really need to fold what? 14. Okay, so as you can see, we've actually folded what? 14 inches. Look at it. I'm not looking at it. You can see it is what? 14 inches. Are you seeing it? So now, you should make sure that it is not uh, less than what? 14 inches. Do you understand? But even if it's more than 14 inches, it's very much okay. So, like I said, you fold with the higher circumference, which is what I've just done now, and also the word the length. So in this case, the length of our skate is 15 inches. Obviously, by men looking at this, you know that it is more than what 15 inches. That means we are okay. Is we are like the length is okay. Do you understand? Okay, please. This particular length you are seeing here is because it's a very, 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 very short skate. Do you understand? So, if you really want to increase your length, you can go do well to also do well to make it up to like 20 inches. It's all dependent on what you actually measured. Okay. So, after we are done folding, next thing we are going to do is to mark out our measurement points. Now, please, I want you to know this one we just folded is only for the word front. We are still going to fold for the back later on after we finish marking out and cutting out this particular one. So the next step is to mark out our measurement point. Now in this case, our measurement points are from waist to hip line, which in this case the hip line is seven inches. As you can see, are you seeing it? Mark it out seven inches. Now there's something else I want to do. I will also take it here and just do exactly the same thing by marking out seven inches again. I'm doing this thing in order to make sure I get a straight line because if I did not mark it out two times, I might end up getting a very slanted line, which will not be okay. So now this is the word hip length. So the next is the skate length. So the skate length in this case, which we already said is what 15 inches. Are you seeing it? So make sure you also mark it out into two. 15 inches. Are you seeing in order to get a straight line? So after marking out 15 inches, next thing we are going to do is to do what? Add allowance. your extra allowance for the what? hemming of the skirt or folding. If you are turning with lining, you can stay at 2 inches allowance. If you are folding, just the same thing, depending on what you want to fold with. So for the sake of this particular tutorial, I'll be adding what? 2 inches, making it to what? 17 inches. Please also do the same thing here. 15 inches plus what? 2, making it to what? 17 inches. So at the end of the day, all you can do is to take your ruler and then connect. So as you can see, now we are done marking out all these measurement points. We have the waist length, are you seeing it? We have the hip length and we have the waist length, length and the allowance. Okay, so now we are done. So the next thing we are going to be now doing now is we are going to be pitching the second frame. So we are going to start from the waist. So the round waist, which is 28 inches, divided by 4. 28 divided by 4 is going to give us what? 7 inches. Okay, so what we are going to be doing now is well, place your tape and mark out 7 inches. Remember, we just divided it by 4. Okay, so now you've marked 7 inches. There's something I really want you to know. We'll be adding that on this particular skate. Are you seeing it? Yes. We're putting that on this particular skate. So now, we are going to be adding our normal waist allowance which is two inches are you seeing it 
Okay, so now remember what I just did. The rand was divided by 4, which gave us what? 7. We added what? 2 inches to it. So do the same thing to the hip. The rand hip, which is 36 inches. Yeah, 36, 36 inches divided by 4 will give you 9 inches. You also add your what? 2 inches allowance. Okay, now I want you to see something. Look at it. 36, are you seeing it? Which is 9 plus 2, which will give you the word the heat. Are you seeing 30? 9 plus 2 is what? 11 inches. Now, maybe you are done imputing the measurements here. Now, there's this method that we usually use. You know, ordinarily, we cut this thing like this, then get into this part, thereby making it a pencil scale. Okay, but this particular one you are seeing now is a very short pencil scale. So, in order for me to get the shape of this, I'm going to use one particular method. And what is that method? Now look at it. Remember what we did here. Whatever thing you have here, both the original measurements and the allowance. Are you seeing it? Now, the total is what? 11. Please take it back like this. 11. Are you seeing it? Okay. Now, this is the point. 11. Now, next thing you are going to do in order to give you that pencil shape is to do what? You have to step back. Now, you step back from what? With what? 1 inch to what? 2 inches. Depending on how fitted you want it to be. Depending on how pencil you want it to be. Now, for the sake of this particular tutorial, you stepping in with what? One inch. Okay. Now, you step in with one inch. Now, do the same thing on the word allowance. Are you seeing it? Do the same thing on the allowance. Now, at the end of the day, next thing we are going to do is we are going to connect. Now, I'll be connecting with my word free hand. Look at it. I'm connecting with free hand. Okay. Now, for those that are not too good with their free hand, there's also another way to connect. You can also make use of your what? Rule. Now, make use of your rule. There's something else you need to do. Are you saying it? Now, connect. Now, at the end of the day, you notice that here is too sharp. Now, you have to do what? Silex the sharpness by doing like this. So, that is it. So, next thing we are going to do is to impute the that. Are you saying it? Next thing we are going to do is to impute the dart. Okay, so for us to impute the dart, all we are going to do, let me give you this formula. To get a dart point, what you do is the round waist divided by 8. To get your dart point, the round waist divided by 8. So now the round waist divided by 8, like I said, that is 28 divided by 8 is going to give us 3 and a half. So all you need to do is to from here, mark out three and a half. Are you seeing it? Okay, mark out three and a half. Yes, from here, the folded part, mark out three and a half. Then, next thing you are going to do is to use your rule and draw a straight line. Now, if you draw this, you draw the straight line. The place, see, the, we have the what? The dart length. That length in this case now, that is, see, look at it. First of all, how do you get this one? The rank is divided by eight. Okay, now we are going to get this particular one. To get this one, all you need to do is to look at it. The hip length is seven inches. Subtract two from seven inches, or you step up with two inches. Are you seeing it? Which is what five inch. This is okay. Now we've gotten this point. Next, we are going to we are going to totally construct the that. So to construct the that, all you need to do is to look at it from here. Are you seeing it? Place your tape from this line. From here, mark half inch. And do the same thing here. From here, also mark one half inch. So as we have gotten it now, next thing we are going to do is to connect. From here, connect to this point. And from here, connect to this point. And as you can see, we are done with the pencil state. But before we connect, let me give us one extra secret. You see the way we got our that weight? Okay. We also have another way you can get it, especially when you are working with your pattern paper or with your fabric, anyone you are working with. So, how do you get it? Apart from dividing by it, you can actually do what? Look at it. Fold this, making sure it's touching your what? Original allowance. Are you seeing it? Original measurement. Excluding the allowance. Are you seeing it? Look at it now. From here, make sure it's touching the original waist measurement, not the allowance. Don't the two inches allowance. So, now do something like this. Are you seeing it? At the end of the day, you see that this is the word in that point. It's just very easy. So, next thing we are going to do is to cut. So, let's cut now. Please remember what I said. This is a very short pencil stick. 
Okay. Now, as you can see, we are done. Next thing we are going to do is to take your scissors and the notch here, the that point, notch there, that point. As you can see, we are done notching. So next thing we are going to be doing is we are going to be cutting out the back part. We use this front to cut out the back part. Okay, guys, as you can see, um, I'll be cutting out the back part now. Now, by me looking at this, you notice that it's exactly what I cut from front, that is what I cut from back. Now, you're saying it, the same 14 inches, that is the highest circumference, that is the hip, which is 36 inches divided by 4, which will give us 9 inches. We added extra 5 inches to that line, which will give us what? 14 inches. That's exactly what I have here. Are you seeing? Then the length still remains the same, such that it is even longer, way more longer than the world, the length of our skate. So, in this case, what I'll be doing is what? I'll be marking out two inches allowance. Are you seeing it? This two inches allowance is for the, the zip. This is the zipper allowance. Then mark out two inches allowance. Then after that, use your tape and then use your rule and then connect. After you are done connecting, next thing you are going to be doing is please let me teach you this. From here, mark out one inch. Are you seeing it? Mark out one inch as a border. Okay, now when you mark out this one, you see how you are going to place the front part. Place the front part like this. Take it and place. Are you seeing it? So that it will be meeting at this point. Are you seeing it? Okay. Then when you are done, take a pin and then hold it. Next thing I want you to do is take your scissors and get the shape immediately without wasting time. Okay. Now I know most of us must have seen this particular one here. Now, this particular one, there's something I didn't want to explain to us. While I was cutting this one, I was supposed to do something which I did not do. I purposely left it so that I was explain everything here. Now look at it. We have this I call the waist effect. The front used to go down, like it used to go low, lower. You understand why the back will go up and like I'm going to extend with the back. That is this one inch you are seeing here now. Then I'm still going to go lower in front. Now, the reason for this is because of the shape of a human being. We all know that the waistline, around the waistline, whenever you wear something, notice that some person's skates or trousers are used to puff around that waistline. This is because they did not apply this waist effect. You understand? The front part of the waist is going inside. That's why the front now will be stepping down with one inch. Why the back part of the waist, which you know as a female, is coming up. That is the both side. So as this one inch you see we added here is to make sure you don't have an open boot. Do you understand? So that it will fit, everything will fit without exposing your foot. So that is the reason for this one inch you are seeing here. Are you seeing it? So in order to apply this one inch, all we need to do is what? Look at it. From here, connect to this point. Are you seeing it? Connect to the real this point. Now I want to let you know something. Applying this thing does not increase the length of your skates. Some persons think that it increases the length of the skate. It does not increase the length of your skate. Because while measuring for a skate, we don't measure from the middle part. We never measure from the middle part of your skate. We measure from the side. Do you understand? Also. So now, in order to apply for the front, in order to work on the front, are you seeing it? We've increased the back with what? One inch. Then we connected it to this very part. Are you seeing it? So now to work on the front, we have to go down from this original length with one inch also. So when we go down, we are also going to do what? Connect it to this particular point. Because I want you to see something. I want you to notice that both are still equal at the very side. Are you seeing it? So that means the length of the skate is not increased, neither is it what? Decreased. Both of them are still of the same length. The only thing I did was just to apply this our waist effect, which helps the skate to balance well around the waist region, both in front and the back. Okay. So the next thing we are going to do is to apply the back down. So to apply the back down, all you need to do is to trace the front down to the back. Look at it. Trace the front down. Are you seeing it? Trace it to the back. Now look at it. This one now represents the back down. Okay. Then next thing we are also going to do. We are not done tracing the back down. So you can as well look at it. I have the simplest way of tracing any particular point I want to trace. Look at it. I take my pin, I put it through here. Are you seeing it? Where this one ended. So I now carefully open up this side and I mark a dot. Are you seeing it? I open up here. 
and I also mark a dot. So D dot enables me to complete my dot. Look at it. Then you have to do what? Connect. Are you seeing it? Then from here to here, which is our normal half inch, from here to here, which is what? Half inch. Connect it back again and again. Are you seeing it? So at the end of the day, we form the back dot. So the final thing you need to do is to look at these very points. This point, are you seeing this is the back side? This is where you are going to be having the slit. If you are going to be having slit, this is at the same point you are going to be having slit. But looking at the shape of this particular skate, you see that it's very short. So that means it's not going to have slit. So any skate that is above your knee line is not supposed to have a slit. You understand? Except you choose this to put. But any skate that is below your knee line must should have a slit. So far as it is what fitted, that is composed. If it is fit else, you are not going to work very well. So next thing we are going to do is to open up this side so as to for it to be ready for our zip. So by me looking at this, you can see that we are actually done cutting our pencil skate. This is the front part, while this one is the back part. So I'm still going to teach us how to couple these very skates. Look at it. Look at the front part and look at the back part. Can you see it? This one is the zipper allowance. Can you see it? So at the end of the month, we couple two inches here, couple two inches here, pull down the band pad. What will be remaining is the what? The band. Are you seeing it? So I'll be using material to teach us how to cut this very thing.